today is going to be like the first video in a little bit of a series of whether or not astrology is real. It might seem kind of weird that somebody with an entire channel dedicated to astrology would be doing a video about whether or not it's real, but I've always been curious, like I've always wanted to like research it further and just like kind of investigate it a little more and kind of test it out and see how true it really is. So for today's video, I'm going to just be looking at my sun sign, which is Capricorn. I know a lot of people look at their rising signs, but to keep things simple, I'm just going to look at my sun sign, and I'm going to just randomly look up 2019 predictions for myself. Obviously, this is going to be for a whole year. It's like a very general outlook for my year ahead. I will do a video next year around this time to see if any of this stuff was actually accurate. So yeah, this is going to be like you know, kind of like a video that we have to wait and see what happens, but I thought it'd be fun to put out there. I thought it'd be a good reference point for, you know, a year ahead to kind of look back on. And if any of you are interested, you know, go look at your sun signs as well and see what the year says for you. Um, and then we can all, you know, see if it was true next year. <laughs> but I just want to say that I don't think this is going to be that accurate because it's only based off of my sun sign. So I guess I just don't see like how it could be that accurate, but I could be proven wrong. So let's take a look i'm just gonna randomly like type into google search because i feel like that's what most people would do if they were lo looking up like some astrology so i will share the links for this video future videos i want to do like a monthly one and see what happens then so we have some more immediate answers um and i also want to do a forecast reading based off of my actual birth chart to just kind of like compare the difference. My guess is that if it's based off of your birth chart and from experience of like doing readings for people based off their birth charts that are like forecast readings and having them be accurate, that's what I would guess would be more accurate. But let's still look at this anyways, because I want to know. I want to know if it's real or not, like obviously. Capricorn 2019 predictions. Predictions. So I know this might be boring, like, because it's personally for me, but again, I think it'll be a good reference point for a year from now. So let's just see what people say. And I'll also give you some ideas of, like, where to look if you're looking for free 2019 predictions right now based off of your sun sign. So the first one we have is Ganesha Speaks, because it's top of the list, so I'm just going to click it. So Capricorn Horoscope 2019, this website says that I will witness transformation. So that's number one. I will witness transformation. I'll witness a positive transformation in both my personal and professional life. It will. It's also telling me that I'm ambitious and determined and helpful, but those are just kind of like Capricorn traits. I didn't know we were helpful, but that's nice to know. I feel like I am. Thanks, Ganesha Speaks. Okay, so I feel like this first part is really just telling me like what Capricorns are like, but also that I'm gonna witness a positive transformation in my personal and professional life. So that's pretty nice to know. And then we get down to finance. It says my expenses are likely to increase. Great. <laughs> so I guess I might be like paying more. That sounds fun and exciting. I may win the lottery or get a promotion though. So that could be helpful. I don't really play the lottery, but on rare occasions, if there's like billions of dollars up, I will definitely throw a few bucks down. It's saying that to be mentally healthy, I have to be physically fit as well. And it's kind of funny because I've really been debating on signing up for like a gym membership or like working out more, which I feel like it's January, so it's not that unusual to be thinking like that, but I have been definitely thinking about it. Let's see. New heights may begin to actualize for you. It says that especially in matters related to money, it's better to be safe than sorry, so make sure to check everything before I make an investment. We got number one is that I'll have a positive transformation in my personal and professional life. Number two is that I'll be spending more, but supposedly making more as well. And number three is that I should be really careful though with my investments, but that I'll be very lucky and fortunate for the most part of the year. It also says, August and September will be really beneficial for me. So let's keep that in mind. Now I just want to look at a couple more. Let's just do two more. This one is yearlyhoroscope.org. So let's see if this is similar. So it's saying that for me, I'm going to begin the year with some uncertainty in my life because of a decision that could not be made in December of 2018. It's kind of true right now. <laughs> but from the 6th of January to like the 6th of February, the decision occurs or you make up your mind. I don't know yet. 
Now this one is actually split up into decans or decons. I never know if I'm saying it right, which is every sign is split up into three based off of your birthday. So for me, my birthday is January 18th. So I am the third decan of Capricorn. So for me, it says that my financial sphere is going to be great. Contracts will occur, a new job, new collaborations, and achievements. That all sounds wonderful, might I say. Better finances, um, a new job, new achievements, new collaborations. Okay. Personal opportunities. I might travel more. Make an important commitment in January that sets up a goal to achieve for my year. And that's interesting because what if I like join the gym or something, right? Like that could be a commitment. I feel like people make commitments though in January because of New Year's resolution. So it would definitely set up a goal to commit for the year, achieve for the year. July to September will be my best time. So now here's some more negative stuff. So for this year, it says there's going to be people who cross my path this year that could discourage, challenge, or oppose my plans in several areas. Those in authority positions will give me a hard time. My finances may have periods of concern. Great. <laughs> my love. Let's do a little love talk here, okay? Saturn in my relationship sector until June 2008. You are already getting some idea of any pressure coming in from other people. Saturn in this position tests the strength of any relationship and some relationships have ended. While I'm married, I hope that our relationship is strong enough to, you know, beat 2019. The cycle's not all doom and gloom and my relationship could get better and will grow from March. April and October can be the most testing in how well I relate to other people. And my health. Let's look at health real quick. I may be concerned about the health of someone close to me more than my own health this year. That's kind of scary. It says that one area that might need checking is the type of food me and my close family eat, which is funny because one of my New Year's like resolutions or goals of the year was to eat healthier as a family, which really just meant like adding more nutritious stuff to our diets. Now let's look at one more. I know this video is getting really long. So this one's kind of split up by months. It says Capricorn is going to have beautiful successes and glorious achievements. I'll be completely focused on succeeding and completing their life goals. But I'll let loose and have fun. I'll be very independent this year. And I need to set my pride aside. If I'm patient and I persevere, anything is possible for me. This is a pretty general one, but it does break it down into like months, you can see. Like January, I should take things slowly. In July, it says I have an important relationship decision. So, you know, March communication problems will appear. Somehow I'm guessing that's related to Mercury. Let's see, when is Mercury in retrograde this year? Always everybody's favorite time, right? Let's see, is it one in March? Yep, March 5th to March 28th. So that makes sense why I'd have communication issues. Okay, so. Obviously, we're not going to really know if any of this is true or not until like next year, but I thought it would be fun. I thought it'd be fun for you guys to maybe look at yours as well, like write down somewhere what they say, make a video of your own. It, you know, you could just write it in the comments of this video so you know where to find it next year. I mean, whatever you want to do, I just thought it could be kind of fun to like see is it true or is it not. Again, I will be doing more videos along these lines just because I'm pretty curious. And yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and have a good day or night.